okay now we will come to the next uh, section which in which we will uh, see that not every function will be a bijective function now we have seen various examples of functions where some functions are one one but not on to some function is on to but not one one there are some functions which are neither one one nor on to so let us quickly have a review over uh, such functions so let me look at the first type of the function suppose i take fx is equal to x square okay and the function that i'm defining is from real numbers to real numbers okay so look at this function the for the graph of this function actually is uh, like what it is like a parabola okay so this is the parabola of the this is the parabolic function right so now is this function a one one function clearly this function is not one one function because if i draw a horizontal line this horizontal line cuts the function at how many points it cuts the function at two points right so we have also shown in our lecture that this function is not one one graphically you can see that this line cuts the graph at, uh, graph at two points so clearly this function is what this function is not a one one function right now this function is also not an on to function why this why this function is not an on to function because if i draw any horizontal line then uh, some horizontal line cut the graph but some horizontal line do not cut the graph for example look at this horizontal line this horizontal line is y equal to what this this horizontal is y equal to minus 1 line this horizontal line does not cuts my graph at all so in this fashion in this uh, way graphically i can say that this function is not an not an on to function okay so this is an example of a function which is neither one one which is neither on to for example if i take beta equal to minus 1 okay so so let us go by the definition of on to function okay suppose i take beta equal to minus 1 beta equal to minus 1 is in the codomain because codomain is the set of what codomain is the set of real numbers so i can take any beta so beta can be positive beta can be negative okay so if i take a beta and if i try to find an alpha for for this so which is a real number then can i solve the equation f of alpha equal to beta now now, now let us see what is f of alpha f of x is x square so what is f of alpha f of alpha is alpha square and is equal to beta what is value of beta the value of beta is i have chosen is to be Minus one, so alpha square is equal to minus one. Okay, so can you find the alpha, which is a real number, whose square is what, whose square is minus one? Okay, now even if I try to find that alpha, what you will get that alpha will be square root of plus minus of minus one, and we all know that the square root of minus one is imaginary number, right? So alpha is plus minus i. So this this is imaginary number. Alpha means alpha is not a real number, right? So it means that we cannot find a real number alpha okay so this means that this uh, function is not an on to function so f is not on to so 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 this example f of x equal to x square is an example which is neither one one nor on to right let us uh, solve let us write one second example of a function suppose f is from r to r and the function that i am giving you is f of x is equal to x cube minus uh, 6x square plus 11x minus 6 okay now we all know how the function uh, how this function really looks using geogebra we have already drawn this function so this function actually cuts the x axis at three points it cuts the x axis at x equal uh, at 1 2 and 3 and the graph of this function is increasing till 1 again decreases and then from 2 to 3 again it is a curve and from 3 it again goes to infinity so this is the graph of the function x cube minus 6 x square plus 11 x minus 6 right now this function is clearly an on to function why this function is an on to function because if you draw any horizontal line passing through the real axis passing through y axis then that line always cuts the always cuts the graph 
so this it it may cut at one or more than one points but it always cut for one one function what should happen every line should cut the graph exactly once so this means that this function is not a not a one one function but it is obviously an on to function right the third example that we will see is now we want a example of a function which is not one, which is not on to but it must be a one one function so f of so if i draw a function f from r to r and the function is uh, i'm taking f of x equal to e raised to x the exponential function okay now all of you know what is the graph of the exponential function the graph of exponential function is increasing very fast increasing function it is okay and uh, this exponential function is one one clearly from the picture because if i draw a horizontal line that horizontal line cuts the graph exactly at exactly at one point whenever the line cuts the graph it is cutting the graph exactly at one point remember you have to draw all such lines when you are looking for one one function whenever a line cuts the x uh, i'm sorry whenever the line cuts the graph it should cut the graph exactly at one point and that property is satisfied here so this function is clearly a one one function in my previous lecture i have shown you using calculations that this function is one one because fx equal to fy will obviously give you what will give you x equal to y so even using the definition we have seen that this function is a one one function right now this function is not on to now why is this function not on to because i will draw a line which is passing through the line below the x axis when i go below the x axis this line is uh, passing through minus 1 okay this line is passing through minus 1 so this means if you choose beta equal to minus 1 then can we find alpha can we find alpha such that f of alpha is equal to beta now you see that this line does not cuts the graph at uh, cuts our graph so this f of alpha equal to beta will create some problems so what is f of alpha f of alpha is e raised to alpha e raised to alpha is equal to beta is how much and beta is minus 1 so e raised to alpha equal to minus 1 can you solve this equation we cannot solve this equation because all of us know that exponential is always a positive number exponential of any number is always what this entire exponential is always positive and this minus 1 is negative so can a positive number be equal to negative number so you cannot find this alpha so that this positive quantity will become a negative quantity so such alpha cannot be found and therefore in this case this function f is not a on to function so here this means that we have found an example of a one one function but it is uh, not an on to function graphically i can tell you that this horizontal line passing through minus 1 never cuts the graph and computations say uh, tell you that the positive quantity exponential e raised to alpha can never be equal to the negative quantity minus 1 so in this case we have found out functions first example was a function which was neither 1 1 nor on to second example was a function of 1 was on to but not 1 1 and the third example was a function which is 1 1 but not on to right so till now for having examples of bijective functions with us we have discussed about two bijective functions the first bijective function is the x cube function which is a bijective function which is one one and on to the second bijective function that i have explained to you is some 2x plus 4 or something or you can take any line over here instead of having 2x plus 4 you can choose any line which is of the form f of x equal to ax plus b any such line will always be a bijective function so these two important bijective functions you have to remember in this particular course okay